Mark, thanks for joining us straight after today's 2-0 defeat at Coventry. Uh, Give us your initial thoughts on the game, really even first half and then things slipped away from a second. Yeah, listen, it was a very even game. Uh, as I said, we were very disappointed with the goals we conceded and we felt as a unit there we could have done a lot better to prevent them, especially being a second phase from uh, you know, a corner, uh, so, sorry, a set play. And uh, in these moments, we've got to handle it better and be more aggressive. And uh, we we were disappointed with ourselves, and we own that as a group. Um, very weak goals, um, and kind of puts a, a big deflated feeling on an overall really rounded performance. It's not been us, has it, over over recent weeks? Even you go as far as months, set players we've been very strong at defensively. So to see two of them happen in the same game is a bit surprising. Yeah, listen, we've been we're very strong in, in that aspect of the game. And uh, we scored a really good goal at Hull. Um, and as I said, it's something that we really pride ourselves on and we just switched off. Hamer's an excellent player and he wriggled his way into the box really well. But we have to be more active and we have to be more on the front foot defending that situation. And then for the second one, we have to stop the cross a lot better. And the old saying is, the space never scores, it's always the man. So on the second phase, we have to go in there and, and get contact, you know. And, Palmer uh, scored a really good goal there but as a unit we're very disappointed with that and it's something that we'll be looking to work on this week again. It was a, a game with uh, not many clear cut chances at either end Mark to be honest as well and at the other end I thought one of the positives from today was Joe Hungbo when he came on looked really really lively you must have been pleased with that as a debut. Yeah I was very pleased with his debut, he's a very exciting player, a very powerful dynamic player who likes to go 1v1 and he's got an eye for a goal as well and he's a super uh, set play specialist so Young Joseph's done really well today and it's about integrating these players for the business end of the season now and we're really looking forward to welcoming him in and also Anthony Knockhart and Waghorn to come back as well and that's why we've done our business, you know. Um, overall for me the, the, the feeling is that we're very frustrated because it was a really super performance up until Hamer scored the goal but what I was uh, impressed by is their attitude that they kept pushing to all the way to the end and they showed a really good determination to still try and get themselves back in the game. However, the second goal was a real uh, body ball, you know, and it took the stuffing out of us. Today's disappointing, Mark. Obviously, you've said you've got to look at this and see what we could improve on, but I suppose at this point in the season, in the situation we're in, you've got to clear the mind quickly because there's some really important games coming up. Yeah, I just said that to the lads, you know, we're a real, there's a real fighting spirit there in the group and they fought to the end today. Um, what I would say is that it's not a time for feeling sorry for yourself. You have to really uh, roll your sleeves up and show that spirit that you're going to go out there at the weekend and, and get these three points. And you could see the lads are disappointed because they felt they put in a really solid performance, but it was just the manner in which we lost the two goals. It was very unlike us, um, and that's something that we need to correct and, and work on the training pitch to, to get better this week. Mark, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Cheers. Head it up.